Throwback Gang, welcome back to a brand new episode of God of War. If you're new here, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on the bell notification that you never miss an upload from me. Um, in the previous episode, we got a very overpowered blade. I still can't remember who gave it to us, but she's not like some really important character in the game, honestly speaking. But the blade she gave us is extremely, extremely, extremely overpowered. I cannot stress that enough. Anyway, if you are new here, consider liking, subscribing, and turning on the bell notification to never miss an upload from me. And with that said, enough waffling. Let's get it. So right now we are on the path to Atlas. And let's see what the path to Atlas has in store for us. Um, I've decided to make this gameplay videos shorter because it's god of war it doesn't need to be super duper long so let's move forward so no this no 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 i don't think this is the right way um yeah so in the previous episode as i said it was one of the more longer episodes that we've had we got the blade i think it was artemis artemitis something yeah but we got the blade we've been using it religiously my goodness oh my goodness that was brutal so i'm guessing that's oh my goodness we can actually get our axe together all right so let's pull this one down or some stuff and Hmm, jumping actually works, so I'm gonna keep doing this. Okay, never mind. And let's pull this second one. Oh, can we can we actually do this? Thank you. And the other one has already retracted. And freaking fantastic. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I think I'm going to go for that help. Maybe not. Alright, so let's see what's behind this door enemies how convenient let's use our most overpowered weapon to take care of them as should be come on oh god come on there we are yeah this thing is so overpowered that i've not had to use my extremely upgraded blades that's how much overpowered this sword is all right, got in front the first one. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Mm. Okay, let's count this now. One, two, one, one, two, three. All right, pattern received. All right, so I don't even know what to expect as we move forward, but I mean, we still need to get the Pandora's box one way or another. It is needed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, nice. Let's get some health. Let's replenish it. Nice. So, I don't know what to expect, but we need to get the box so that we can destroy Ares, complete this game. I already have my next title series in mind for you guys. It's a nice old classic as well, but not that old. It's a, it's a video game that many people quite underrated and I'm more than excited to do it for you guys. Let's take down this guy. So, so far, I feel like most of the game will be centered around Pandora's temple because I'm assuming that this place, this temple has so much so much to see so much to discover so many puzzles to do until we get to the box and probably once we get to the box oh my goodness i've actually realized we are on top of a titan that's moving with a giant temple on its back so what what do you guys think once we get the box what do you think happens do we take it from the entire titan do we have to carry it on our back as we descend from the temple? You know, I, I don't know, like... What do you guys think? But anyway, that's why we are here, that's why we will 
go through this and try to figure out what exactly happens oh and full disclosure by the way this is a post what, what do they call it this voiceover is done post game recording it's not live um 22 minutes into the recording i realized my mic was not on you know because i'm an idiot like that so yeah this is the first and only time that i'm going to do this god of war series post com i will make sure for all other future recordings that my mic is on from the get-go so um there was something that i was trying here i was trying to position myself strategically so that these dudes can jump and fall to their deaths but they kept doing some very weird stuff i mean look he jumps he starts falling and then he somehow hangs on but that's neither here nor there so what else can we do so when you look at this game as it is it's really nice i actually quite enjoy it so right here right now we are trying to replenish that small amount of health i know it's completely not necessary but why not I'm assuming this is a chain we'll use to descend and we are trapped because there's nothing easy in this world so we need to destroy these guys with their magic shield there is a move you can do it's one light attack one light attack and then a heavy attack there's the one and as you can see everybody with the magic shield their shields are gone so now we can take down these people of course you guys know the most of a power people on hard to make an answer so um i will say um if you guys can notice the flow the flow is moving a lot and it's moving to quite a very it's quite unnerving say the least how much this flow is moving and i at first i assumed that there was a creature underneath us just pining to get out and take care of us completely but i wasn't quite wrong but i was also wrong i'm gonna leave it at that so we've completed and now yeah so if you take too long to remove to, to remove if you take too long to clear the enemies around the floor just opens itself up and takes you down with it so this time around learning from my mistake i decided to just use the rage of the gods screw trying to destroy these magic shields why don't i just destroy everyone in one sweep and then as the story progresses i can rebuild my rage of the gods in time so as you can see i've taken out 90 percent of the enemies i'm supposed to take out so at this point we are not in danger of this floor caving in on us it's quite literally impossible that this floor will cave in on us and might i just add that right now that looks like we're inside I know it's impossible since the entire temple is on top of him, but it kind of looks like some facial features if you ask me. So we take this crank handle. So it's the crank handle of Atlas and all of a sudden the shaking subsides. Now the one thing that's on my mind is, do you think everybody else that has tried to get to Pandora's box has actually had to do, to do all this? because? It seems quite weird that everybody has to do this anyway we do a question and receive because it doesn't hurt to all right question and receive out of the way we keep on moving forward so right now we are going back to that place of the blades and we are going to have to deal with these blades again I can tell you for a fact that I wasn't looking forward to it, especially after that first trial where I didn't do so... I didn't do so well. 
I'll be the first to admit it. So anyway, we get past the first one because we counted. So let's recount one and two and one, two, three. So that's the pattern. Four. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, it seems I did not get the pattern right even right now as I'm doing this post recording commentary. But anyway, now we have the final one. So let's count one, two. Alright, one and a one, two. Alright, so we roll and we move. So now all that we have left to do is get to the blades, which should be fun. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this. Even right now, post commentary, I'm not looking forward to it. Anyway, so we pull the first lever awesome stuff but now the real fun begins where all these blades just take us out and we pull the second lever and at this point i know you guys are thinking yeah we are so close no no we are not and now the real fun of this room begins and i will put this out there to you guys how we complete this room it's probably in the least it's probably the least expected way but the most satisfying way yeah that one hurt that one really hurt the blade just caught us at the wrong time when we wanted to pull away and complete the room now i've already taken the health and there's not another one available so it means we have little margin for error in completing this room so at this point we do so well and we just waste a little bit of time trying to pull the second lever and we got hit by the third and the group closes and now we are in desperation mode because i'm not thinking right i'm kind of pissed off i don't know why i have to keep failing this and now if anybody had we just run across the room to complete this room then you can tell me how you knew that's what we did and i'm gonna need some lot of numbers from you very soon but other than that as you can see at this point i'm just so frustrated and it's at this point i just think to myself why don't i just start running across the room i've tried jumping i've tried rolling nothing is happening so let's just run across the room like yeah like some idiot no it's not yet at this point i, I don't know what that is. but as you can see that one is going to close on me and at this point now is when i decided you know what i'm just gonna run across the room i'm not gonna try to calculate the speeds of this thing i'm just going to run and by golly the first time worked and so we continued running across and by good golly it worked so yeah apparently to complete this room you just have to take a deep breath and just run across the room and hope all the blades miss you i can tell you for a fact that how i ran across the room is the exact way you are supposed to run across the room like if you run across the room with any different type of timing you are not making it out so at this point is when i realized that there's a lot of heartbeat sounds coming from the game and i realized oh my goodness my health is absolutely disgustingly low so i'm not going to let these minotaurs do use their armors to hit the ground and push me aside that thing is a real health killer so instead we use medusa's gaze turn them into stone crush them easy peasy lemon squeezy and now this is the most disturbing thing i've ever seen i do not care how cool a moving statue is this should never happen this can't happen this is very very disgustingly unsettling 
it can form a nice thumbnail for the video though, but anyway so we do this and we now have to go release the lock at the top i'm so sorry for the minor lagging my pc was struggling with some heating issues but i already have that sorted moving forward so again my health is really low but these guys once you get that o when you destroy them they give you some health which is quite generous of them and they can so that became my mission i was going to ensure i survived i was so careful i made sure that for every guy that was jumping towards me i was i had my hand on the l1 ready to block just ready to block so that i could survive i did not want to have to go through this from some weird predetermined checkpoint as you can see i'm just the empty blocking at this point although that block did not work for some stupid reason yeah so i'm just preemptively blocking just trying to stay alive at this point we block that one was cruelly mistimed and so i have to roll away i still don't know how we did not die from that final attack but again that o attack and as you can see we keep getting some minuscule health bonuses which continue keeping us alive so we complete this point and at this point i'm looking at these guys i'm just preemptively blocking at this point and one shoots his pulse which i mean i was not going to waste that opportunity to get through i throw some of my some of my thunderbolts and realize i'm not even aiming at the enemy so that was a waste and at this point i'm just looking to get killed because i'm losing all hope but the show must go on so at this point we move this is the lever we're supposed to pull so that something even worse happens and at this point i'm just blocking preemptively because i don't want to die but yeah these archers are idiots and i am so grateful for that so i take down this first one i wait and this guy shoots the pot for me which means i don't have to break it to get a red orb so appreciate that dude and we finish off with this and for on this last final archer and all we have to do is pull this lever now if i thought that that statue picking up the boulder was really weird and unnerving this just took it way over the top it is so weird and it's so unnerving and i don't care what anybody tells me that is just weird anyway so the gate path is opened so we simply have to jump down and go see what's at the end of what we've won hopefully there is some health bonuses somewhere nearby so that we can increase our health and complete this mission no uh, not mission just complete this section so that we don't have to keep going on with our health dead so this is a recording from pathos vades the architect of this unnerving structure and this is the tomb of his son so during the construction of this temple his son was the first one to kick the bucket and right now we are doing something that i don't recommend you should never disturb you should never ever ever disturb the resting site of anyone it's not nice so for some reason we take his head because i don't know the architect was a madman and i'm assuming there is a door we need to open with his son's head yeah i know really unsettling for me and we finally get some health you do not know how happy i was to see this anyway so now we have some health we are moving forward this place just looks like death and it looks like hell and quite frankly i'd be happy to be out of here as soon as possible and this is one unwindingly long tunnel over 
path to use and a lot of blood and oh my goodness so much death so much death the around the bodies of those who had gone in search of pandora's box lay before him and at once kratos knew who was responsible Ares. this was not the first time he'd seen Sorry. the ruined Ares. And his but I'm pretty sure you guys already knew that already. Kratos had experienced it firsthand years before. The youngest and boldest captain in the Spartan army inspired fierce loyalty in his men. It had always been enough to carry them through any battle until this day. Yeah, there is the always somebody bigger, better, in the thousands. stronger than you. It's always Descended someone the Spartans. There without mercy mm. my goodness the battle lasted near hours wow the discipline and training of the Spartans yeah the barbarians look much the better the merciless barbarians Soldiers faced a massacre. Yep, this is definitely a massacre. The end of his brilliant career and his life. But to Kratos, victory was worth any price, even his soul. I can see how he got himself into all of trouble. Destroy my enemies, and my life is yours. Wow, he sold his soul to the devil. He's in that, that smart. For aid will come to haunt Kratos for all his days. Yeah, I do. By the gods, what have I become? A slave, Kratos. You are a slave to the gods. Anyway, you should be all catched up now, guys. So apparently my mic wasn't on the entire time. Which is just lovely. Oh my goodness. I swear I become an idiot every single day. Every single day, man. Alright, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here, so... Stay safe, be smart, be kind, tell somebody you love them today, and I'll catch you.